Captain Anderson, the man who commanded the aircraft carrier Kestrel and kept her afloat through countless battles. Nah, I'm just a guy who's fought one losing battle after another. However, since this war began, this ship hadn't taken a single hit from enemy forces. This ship may be unharmed, but it pains me to see fewer and fewer pilots coming back every time we launch them out on combat sorties. Now the only pilot left is Captain Snow, the squad leader. Nobody wants an aircraft carrier without aircraft. So we're just sitting idle here. At the end of the last war, I was assigned the mission of dropping a nuclear weapon on a city in my own country. Hmm. When I refused and went AWOL, it was Captain Bartlett who took me in. His nickname was also Kid back then. He was a strange man. Fifteen years since the war and he never got promoted once. In my country there was a group called the Grey Men. I'm likely to still be around today. To them, I'm a traitor. And for the past 15 years, Bartlett's protected me from them. Speaking of which, you don't think the Grey Men are involved with the disappearance of President Harling, do you? I've got an intelligence gathering vessel in my fleet, the Andromeda that's capable of intercepting all forms of communications. Recently, it picked up a secret message transmitted in Belkin. That, Colonel, is why I called all of you here. All this intense flying's tough on an old body. From here on out, it's their time to shine. Hmm. But what do we do about planes? We've captured a ship trying to smuggle aircraft from a South Belkin company into Yuktabania. Plenty of planes to choose from. All right. If there aren't any objections, then I'll take command of this air operation. We're launching a rescue operation for the President of Osia within the Principality of Belka. The communications intelligence ship Andromeda received information that President Harling is being held in Belka. The location is an old castle positioned on the southern edge of the border zone between Belka and North Osia. Sea Goblin, our helicopter squadron, will handle the direct rescue effort. After securing the area, a helicopter will descend on the castle and drop our infiltrating rescue squad. It will station keep in the air while the rescue is taking place on the ground and in the castle. Your mission is to provide air support for the Sea Goblin's rescue operation and destroy any opposing enemy forces. Choose an aircraft for the mission from the Kestrel's carrier jets and prepare to launch. Choose a plane for me to pop. Captain, which plane should I use? We're launching with this formation then? War Dog, launch! Take off complete. 
Altitude restrictions canceled. Return to your mission. Good luck. Captain Snell, I'll be at your six o'clock. It's good to be flying with you, sir. It's been a long time since I've flown in formation. Back in the first battle after the war began, Chopper, that is, Captain Davenport told me you yelled at him for getting in your way. I was still sitting reserved back then. Do you read me? You guys should have sight of the castle by now. Sea Gobbler's gonna descend for an insertion. So can you take out the air defense batteries for them? Take your time and be thorough. You don't want to leave any standing. This is Sea Gobbler. Is Captain Nagase there? Yeah. Your team rescued me from that mountain in the snowstorm. That helicopter ride was pretty comfy, huh? Hey, you ever want to transfer here, let me know. Hey, what happened to that motor mount? He's real quiet today. Hey, he's not here. All anti-aircraft fire suppressed. We'll continue protecting the helicopter and infiltration forces. Nixie, you guys drop first and take up an overwatch position of the area. It's a dismal castle standing over a lifeless land. I can almost see the bad vibes circling around that castle. I wouldn't be surprised after witnessing seven nuclear explosions. Target hit! We'll be meeting the President himself. Make sure you look sharp! I hope the President is all right. Those are the scars left behind when seven Balkan towns evaporated. Nothing's moving down there. It's like the Earth itself is dead. This is what the end of the world must look like. Even the air over these lands is heavy from the memories of Belka. The wind's pretty strong. Don't let our rotors hit the castle. All right, guys. Move out. Hey, we got a line back here. Hurry up and jump. Hurry up and get going before I start shooting somebody. Force unit is mobilizing reinforcements. Roger. Intercept the reinforcements and keep them from getting to the fight. I'm counting on you. Enemy tanks also emerging from the castle. Should we split up? Roger. Dispersing to eliminate the enemy. This is Kublai. Proceed with infiltration of the castle. I'll support the invasion effort at the castle. The stone structures inside this castle are quite impressive. It feels like there's more than just our enemies lurking in this place. The road's blocked by burning vehicles! They'll be wiped out before they reach the castle! Where's their support? Box 2! We're getting an unfriendly welcome from outside the castle, too. Rosgrees, can you show them some of the same? Thanks. Teach them that it's only polite to respond in kind. The enemy's probably detained. 
detected them by now. They'll begin a counterattack soon. Engaging enemy in the castle. They've got armored troops too. What's with our anti-aircraft fire? They're not hitting squad. Shoot down that chandelier. I've got multiple hits on my radar. Enemy aircraft inbound. Fighter jets? I'm telling they got their own fighter jets, too. That's affirmative. They're definitely fighters. Guess they used the money from Osia and Yuktavania to supply their own forces. Just protect that helicopter. Hey, fighter jets? Where are they hiding those? We don't stand a chance against them. Hey, time for you guys to step in. Drossel 3, enemy plane at your 6 o'clock. Break! Fox 2!
Roger. We're going to destroy the wall and get the infiltration team out of there. Got it? The area to be destroyed is displayed on your HUD. Aim carefully. Keep firing! Don't give the enemy a sense of advantage! Harrison's been hit! Get him back to the rear! Target hit! Fox 2! Hey! Did you tear that wall down yet? I feel like we've been lined up against the wall for our own execution. Target hit! Fox 2! miles to touchdown. You're coming in too fast. Slow down. One mile to touchdown. You're on the money. Perfect, Blaze. Stand by and prepare for your next sortie. Mission accomplished. President Harling was safely retrieved. The president is showing some signs of fatigue, but in general, his condition is good.
When we got word of the president's return and ran up to the bridge, he was smiling and chatting with Pops and Captain Anderson. Apparently, he spent his days confined in the old castle, looking at the seven ground zero craters right out his window, which served as the border between the two countries of North and South Belka. In the end, the Ocean army couldn't take the Yuktavanian capital, and the war began to bog down. For Belka, who challenged the world to battle, but were crushed by the twin powers of Osea and Yuktibania. There can be no sweeter revenge. They had created the hatred between the two countries, hoping that the war would eventually exhaust them both. The military officials on both sides were playing right into their hands. The intelligence vessel continued to intercept the Yuktibanian army's communications. One message from Air Force Traffic Control contained a string of mysterious numbers. Latitude, longitude, a date and time, and one more set of numbers. The president had the answer. Well, how about that? These are the numbers of votes I won in my presidential elections. Huh, this is from the first time I won, and here's the number from the election two years ago. This message was meant for me. The coordinates marked a location within North Belkin territory. The date was tomorrow. The squadron from Sand Island became the president's personal air fleet, even as the official reports continued to state that they were shot down and killed. This was their new emblem. <laughs> 